Hello and welcome, this is Roofmonger, and today I'm making this video as a heads up to all the newer players coming into fighting games with Dragon Ball Fighter Z and may not be aware of how online play works. So to be concise, uh, the main thing for an optimal experience that you will need for online play for yourself and for others is that you'll need a direct wired in connection using a Cat5 cable or whatever have you from your console, PC, or whatever to your router instead of using wireless internet. Dragon Ball Fighter Z uses what we call a delay-based netcode. In this and other fighting games, uh, it always runs at 60 frames per second, and the delay, which you can see above the timer at the top of the screen when you're playing online, is what your delay will be after your button press. So if it says two frames, which is about as good as this is gonna get online, uh, you will now have a 1 30th of a second delay after you press your button. As the connection between two players gets more unstable, this number will rise up like 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and also become uh, more unstable fluctuating, making the experience very inconsistent, making it hard to mount any offense, making it hard to, you know, do any kind of defense, and it's going to frustrate everyone involved. So other games like Street Fighter V use what we call a rollback style netcode and generally speaking and honestly inarguably, it's superior delay based netcode. Dragon Ball Fighter Z unfortunately does not use this style of netcode. So it's one of the main, uh, main reasons I'm making this video. A wired connection will keep you much more stable than a wireless connection due to a variety of reasons, uh, packet loss, device interference, and etc. Uh, so for your own sake and for those playing with and against you, I highly, highly, highly suggest you do your best to wire your device in. Now this video is not meant to be character assassination against people using wireless, it's simply an educator uh, so everyone can have the most optimal and fun experience while playing Dragon Ball Fighter Z. So overall, you know, uh, if you can, please, please uh, wire up. Uh, you'll trust me when I say uh, when you have those uh, laggy matches, and if, especially if you're on wireless or someone you're playing against is on wireless, causing you to have a laggy match with very high delay and warping everywhere and just, you know, have very inconsistent experience, it's not going to be very fun. So I uh, ask, you know, please spread this around, especially to people who are newer to fighting games who don't really know about this, because uh, if you want to play online, uh, stability is a big part. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video found you well. Go out and play some Dragon Ball.